Um, I haven't been directly told that I was acting in a racist manner, um, but when when I was just out of school, I realised I'd carried with me a lot of the the chat that went on in the girls' school I went to, and it was and it was very racist, and and it was just the way it was. And I just remember having a conversation um, with a, a woman who was an amazing, intelligent, inspiring woman about about it, being very general and being, oh, but you don't get it because, you know, you, you didn't grow up where I grew up and, and just saying it as if that's just the way it was. And she just said to me really kindly, Christy, I think one day you're going to look back on this moment and be a little embarrassed. And I, and I thought, well, no, because it's just the way it is. But I'm total, it's totally cringeworthy. And... And it's bizarre and, you know, in a lot of ways I get where teenagers come from when they formulate certain ideas because at school, especially school I went to, it was just the way it was. It was just like this is the opinion on things and um, and it's, yeah, very, very embarrassing and uh, awful to think back on. Um, but since then, no. And the funny thing is actually more than anything and thanks to, thanks to All Together Now as well, I've had a lot of conversations with friends, particularly friends that also half Australian like myself um, in heritage and we were wondering if the jokes and things that get made and that kind of typical Aussie writing of each other actually perpetuates anything or has an effect if it's if we are actually in a way being racist because we make jokes about being different ourselves it's really interesting so stuff has definitely changed since then but um, it's gone in a, another direction where I think at times we're not really sure if we need to be more PC about what we're saying or whether it's okay as well, which gets a little confusing too.